This is the city of Warsaw, located in the country of Poland in the year 1939. This was before World War II, before Hitler and the Russians invaded, before the bombers, and before 8 out of 10 buildings were destroyed. And then, Poland was invaded. First city to be taken, but it's followed by others. That one, a Polish town, ready for war and built a military juggernaut too great for Poland to resist. Communications blown up as the defenders impede the invasion every way they can. But the German, they reach Warsaw, which resists heroically. They trap huge Polish forces, forces that fight on. Destruction of a nation. The city itself collapsed along with the rest of the country from the forces of the Nazis and the Soviets. Life in German-occupied Warsaw in 1940 was characterized by oppression, restrictions, harsh living conditions imposed by the Nazi regime. In the German occupation, following the invasion of Poland in September of 1939, Warsaw fell under German occupation. The Nazis established a brutal regime aimed to suppress Polish culture, eradicate Polish nationalism, and exploit the city's resources. The Germans intended and put in place policies to suppress Polish identity and culture. Polish institutions, including schools, cultural organizations, Newspapers were tightly controlled or outright banned. The use of the Polish language as well was restricted and the Germanization efforts were imposed to assimilate the Polish population. The German occupiers also implemented forced labor camps, which involved the conscription of Polish citizens for labors in factories, construction projects, or agricultural work. Many Poles were subject to grueling and often dangerous conditions. In 1940, the Nazis initiated the establishment of the Warsaw Ghetto, confining the Jewish population into a small walled off area of the city. The conditions inside the ghetto were overcrowded with inadequate sanitation, limited food supply and rampant disease. The Germans implemented also strict restrictions on the movements of the Polish population. Curfews were imposed and travel outside the designated areas required permits. This severely limited people's freedom and it made it difficult to maintain connections with the outside world. The German authorities also used violence, intimidation, and repression of resistance in order to gain more control. They also carried out severe punishments, including mass executions and public hangings. The German occupation brought economic hardships to the population of Warsaw. Resources were directed toward the German war effort, resulting in the shortage of essential goods such as food, fuel, and clothing. Polish schools and universities were targeted, with Polish history culturally marginalized or eliminated altogether, leading to, leading to a significant loss of cultural and intellectual capital. The clip you see has been colorized, upscaled, and brought into the modern world.
side by side, we are going to see the clips from the restoration to the originals. So we can travel back in time to Poland, Warsaw, 1940. 